Hey everybody, so this is the Ranger 200F uh, fishing pontoon boat and I've owned this boat for one year. I wanted to wait and do my review of it after I'd owned it for a long time and knew all of its quirks and pros, cons, all that. Uh, the very first thing I love about this boat uh, more than any other boat I've ever had is um, it, th this little ladder right here to get in and out of it. It seems like a small thing, right? But I'm in and out of this boat all the time, and I'll tell you what, uh, this little ladder and that little bottom step even makes makes it getting in and out of this thing so easy, uh, and I really do appreciate the ladder on the trailer. Uh, here We're coming up right here to the first thing I don't like. Um, and so if you look at the trolling motor, right here where this gate comes and opens, the, the gate hits my trolling motor. Now I have the Minn Kota Tarova, uh, with a quick release bracket on here and that quick release bracket bumps it up a little bit uh, just enough to where if you don't push the trolling motor down a little bit uh, the gate's gonna hit it it's so my first gripe uh, is this right here uh, it also you can't use the trolling motor when you deploy it you can't have the gate closed so after you you open the gate deploy the trolling motor you can't keep that gate uh, you can't close it back while the trolling motor is in use because if you do, the trolling motor will bump into it. So while you're using the trolling motor, the gate has to be open. Um, I suggest putting a bungee on it or something to keep it from banging around. But that's a minor gripe. But the uh, you know it, it still could use a little work. If I think if uh, Ranger shaved off about another inch off that little uh, bottom part of that gate, it wouldn't bump and um, maybe. I don't know what they could do to fix it where the trolling motors won't hit it, but it's it's minor, but it is something to be be aware of if you're gonna if you're gonna purchase a boat like this. Now I took the second seat out for this review mainly to show how accessible this boat is. I have family members in wheelchairs that can roll right in on that wheelchair access gate and look, they can roll right up there in that front seat spot and fish right beside me. The chairs are very easy to get in and out. Uh, this is the uh, live well right here. You can, I don't really use the live well, so you can see I have it filled up with trash and jigs and stuff. Um, that's kind of my trash can whenever I'm going out so that I don't have any trash blowing out in the water or uh, off the trailer, and I empty it out when I get home. But uh, that is a big live well that's good for use. This is storage that's <laughs> filled to the brim with stuff, anchors and ropes and everything else over here is more storage this is the um, yeah this is the port side storage up in the front and I have all kinds of gear in there um, plenty of storage on this boat plenty of storage everywhere that's one thing I love is you have enough room to put every kind of tackle option you could want or rigging option you could want and the deck space I mean look you know all this deck space is wonderful just to be able to move around throughout the day and this right here, I'm going to pause on this part for a minute. This couch is what sold me on this model over other models. Uh, there's a lot of options when it comes to these fishing pontoons now. That wide open couch right there, I'm six foot. I can lay down and take a nap on that thing and my feet you know, won't be dangling. It's, it's a big couch. You can fit a lot of people on that. All right. Here is my biggest gripe about the boat and the thing that has really kind of irked me about it ever since I got it. This is a powered Bimini top. And so you push a button, it goes up, push a button, it goes down, right? Well, if you guys are fishermen, you know powered stuff breaks eventually. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I know I'm going to have... Well, within the first few months of having this boat, the, it stopped working. So I guess the cord in the Bimini uh, got stretched out or something and uh, it, it broke. Um, and so they serviced it, put a whole new top on there for me. It's in warranty, so they, you know, Ranger took care of it. They put a new Bimini top on there. When they put the new one on there, the the uh, the shop <laughs> used the wrong hardware, and so I, you know, the whole thing almost flew off on me. We're all down the highway. I lost this little bracket on the right, so they fixed it again and I think they have put the wrong bracket on there because you can see it's a little shorter than the other bracket on the other side and it kind of tilts to the right a little bit down I think they put the wrong one on there so this whole thing has been a headache um, I'm gonna get with Ranger and, and try to get the right bracket on that right side and new hardware and I'm gonna do it myself this time but 
it's it's been a pain. Um, but and it's and maybe you may never have an issue with yours, right? Maybe I got a lemon, and um, it was you know the install the shop just didn't do a good job installing the second one. Um, but it, that's been a pain point for me is that bimini top. The seats again. This is my favorite thing about the boat. These <laughs> this couch. You know, you you fish all day. Your back starts hurting. Just go lay down on this thing, and it's got storage underneath these seats for everything. This is semi dry storage, and I you know I I call it semi wet storage more than I would call it semi dry. This thing holds water, so I never get this wet really. You know, I I fish out of it mostly. We don't take it out tubing. I haven't taken it out for a while, but it holds water all the time. I don't know if it's collecting condensation or what. Um, but I have to clean it out pretty regular, so just be aware of that. I'm thinking about drilling a few little holes in there to kind of let it drip, but it's uh, that, that does hold water. Things in there don't stay dry, so you may need storage boxes. This is where I keep my ice chest, you know, when I'm traveling. In, oh, and there's a <laughs> somebody left a mess of crappie in there. <laughs> I live close to Lake Darboam in Louisiana, and uh, we always have a good time out there catching crappie. But that's where I keep my ice chest kind of rides to and from the lake as I'll tie it up right there. Um, there's the helm. Helm is great. You can see on that right side, I have that ram mount. That's where my fish finder goes. Um, I have no issues with the helm. It has tilt steering. You can tilt it up and down. It's, it's great. Really nice, nice helm. Uh, there is a small issue with those cup holders. Water, they have a hole in the bottoms of the cup holders to let water leak through. And this bottom area here, the water will get down there, like bad, all over everything. So don't count on that under helm storage being dry either. Um, it, it gets a lot of water if you're out in the rain or, or catch any water on those cup holders. These seats are removable. I think I, I showed that very first seat, how I had it removed. Any of those little slots right there, those round circles on the bottom, you can move seats around the boat as you want to or take them out completely. Here's the, the rear uh, live well somehow I don't have anything in that one <laughs> I don't fish off the back much but uh, sometimes I'll keep ropes and stuff back there and there's the starter battery right here um, for starting up you have your switch back there too but I have two batteries in the front uh, and there's your uh, your swim ladder your swim uh, platform right there which works great the kids can get in and out easy you have a lot of room in here. I keep a camp toilet back there um, on that side of the boat just for the kids. But uh, probably the biggest and best thing about this boat is just all the open floor space. Um, and if you're still watching, if you're thinking about getting one of these boats, I don't have any regrets. I showed you all the things that I thought were bad um, you know, in, in this review. But overall, this boat is amazing. I would not take back this purchase ever. I, I don't think I'll ever go back to a bass boat or or anything else this it's just too comfortable to fish out of this boat um, you can sit out all day with the family you know I have a, a three-year-old and a seven-year-old you know you don't I put their life jackets on and I don't have to be watching them every single second to make sure they're not tipping out of the boat you know they can play around and um, they're they're safe in here while we fish or play uh, it's, it's just wonderful. You, if you have family members that are disabled, have problems getting around, there's no, there's nothing else like this. You, they can get in and out easily. Um, even wheelchair, like I said, we have, you know, folks in wheelchairs can roll right in and fish right beside you. Well, I hope this review was helpful uh, for the Ranger 200F. I've had it for one year and it's a great boat. Thanks everybody.